Uh, I'm in Seville. Seville. Oh, okay, cool. Very nice. Well, it's nice to meet you, um, Ana Cari. Is it Karine? Yes. Okay, nice <laughs> to meet you. Thanks for joining us. And we also had Alejandro join us. Hi, Alejandro. Hi, uh, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm well. Uh, I'm from uh, Spain too. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. I'm in the classroom of Spain today. And what part of Spain are you from? Barcelona. Okay, okay. Well, you have the whole country represented. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us. Okay, we had another student, uh, V, join us. Yes, hello, Michelle. This is my Hi, first v. time in your class. Yeah, nice to meet you. Where are you from, V? I'm from Vietnam. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, so I think that today I'm an exceptional case in this class. I I'm know, everyone else Spain. is from Spain. <laughs> 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 All right, nice to meet you, V. It's yeah, really you're so pretty. You yeah, you're so pretty. Oh, thank you. It's probably just the camera. It's not real. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so, because uh, even though I'm on the camera or in the real life, I would be the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you for the compliments. Very nice, mm -hmm, nice yeah. to meet you. All right, I want to say hi also to Pedro. Hey, Pedro, welcome back to class. Hey, teacher. Hi again. Hey, nice to see you again. And you're from Brazil, right? Yeah. Okay, we have another student also, Ana Karine. She's from Brazil. But I don't know if you guys are from the same city. What part of Brazil are you from, Pedro? I'm from Feira de Santana, the state of Bahia. Okay, is that in the north or the south? It's the northwest. Okay, okay. Not and north east. In the, oh, okay, in fact. okay. Okay. And Ana Karine, what part of Brazil are you from? Uh, I live in Fortaleza, Ceará. Okay, I don't know where that is either. <laughs> is it close to where Pedro lives? Yeah, in the northeast. Okay. Very cool. Well, it's nice that you guys are, are with us today in the class. And we had another student join us, also Natasha. Hi, Natasha. Hello, Natasha. Hello, guys. It's good to, to see you. Hey, nice to see you too. How are you today? Uh, I am fine, thank you. Uh, it, it is uh, hot and hot today, and I really like it because it's like in the soft. <laughs> oh, cool! Very nice. Yes, yeah, so it's a hot summer day here too. Yeah. And Natasha, you're from Russia? No, no, no. I'm from Belarus. Oh, Belarus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is it the same heat wave that's affecting Spain? It's affecting you in Belarus. Uh, yes, 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 but uh, my country is uh, nearest uh, Russia, Ukraine, Poland. Uh, we are between these countries. Okay, all right. Well, it's really nice to have you guys with us in class today. And we're going to be practicing a little bit um, about descriptions, um, descriptions of people. So we'll be talking about um, distinguishing the difference between um, describing their physical appearance and their personality. And um, we're going to start off by, um, by trying to use some descriptions to describe our pets, our family pets. And we'll try to describe what they look like, just their appearance. So maybe we can start with Ana Belen. Ana, do you have a family pet? No, I don't have any pet. Okay, well you can you can make one up. You can invent a family pet, <laughs> like, or just describe um, an animal that you like. <laughs> I I had a one pet when I lived in my parents' house. Then I think about it. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. What kind of pet was it? Was it a cat or a dog? A dog. A dog. Okay. And maybe you could describe what your dog looked like. Uh, my dog was a cocker spaniel, and it was um, small with long, very long, long, uh, very long ears. Uh -huh. With with uh, blonde hair, 
and he he was very very nice and friendly. Mm -hmm. um, very good. Yeah, that's a nice description. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you're describing the color of an animal, instead of, of saying like blonde or brunette, I'll write those words here in the chat box, like blonde, brunette. Uh, these are words that are used more for um, describing the, the hair color of people. But, um, but you could say... Um, like maybe you could use um, different color words to describe the fur of your dog. So you could say like he was like um, a light brown or a golden ah, okay. tan or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No. Great job. That was a good description too of your cocker spaniel. They're beautiful dogs. I like how they have those long ears too. Yeah. They're, nice. They're so cute. All right, nice description, Anna. Okay, let's ask the other Anna, Anna Karine. Anna uh, Karine, do you have a family pet, or did you use, did you have one in the past? No, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you could describe um, an animal or a pet that you've seen before that you like. Okay, uh, I see <clears throat> two girls, Ari. <clears throat> holding each other with this animal estimation. Uh, first little was a cat and the second is a dog. Mm -hmm. Nice, very good. And maybe you could choose one of these to describe their appearance. Uh, so you could say like the size and the color. Uh, she mm. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you can say like the size like um like it's you can say big, small, tiny, giant. You can use words like that. Uh, the first girl is blonde. Mm-hmm. Okay. Twice, yeah. twice is beautiful. Yeah, you could say um, uh, you could say beautiful. You could also say cute. Yeah. Sometimes when they're very animals, cute, you could say very cute. Yeah, <laughs> nice job. <laughs> okay, and also you could use different colors to describe them. So for this one, you could say maybe beige or yellow or orange. And then for the dog, you could say like white. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Yeah, very nice description of these, um, of their appearance. Nice work. Okay, let's ask Alejandro next. Alejandro, do you have a pet? Or did you have one in the past? Um, no, I don't have a pet, but I want to speak about my the, uh, pet uh, from my grand, uh, grandfather. Okay. Okay. You could say uh, my grandfather's pet. My grandfather's pet. Um, it's a, a a parrot. Okay. It's a um, a, a talking parrot. It's a yako yako. I don't know the the name in English, but uh, it's a gray gray parrot with okay. uh with a red tail. Mm hmm. Uh, it's very, very beautiful and and a, a little expensive too because it's the the most uh, talking parrots. It's a parrot, uh, the parrot uh, what learn more uh, words. Mm -hmm. Then her his uh, life expectancy expectancy is like a human and around. 17 years. Mm -hmm. 17? No, 17, no, excuse me. Se like uh, 70 or 80 years, right? Seven, they live a long seven. time. Okay. Um, he is, uh, is big and, 
and um, a little shy because when he only speaks we when he's alone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and that is all. Okay, yeah, well that was a really nice description of his Thank appearance you. too. You said that he's gray and he has a red tail and you also said that he's big too. So that's really good. And Thank those in English, they're called African gray parrots. Okay. African yeah. gray. Yeah, so they're pretty famous also in the United States because they're very, very smart. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, great description. Very nice job, Alejandro. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's ask V next. V, do you have a pet of your own, or did you have one in the past? Uh, yes, uh, my family used to have a a, a pig. A, a pig in the past. Oh, yeah. Cool. Pig. Yeah, I, I like it, especially when uh, it was just uh, a little a little pig. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and uh, when uh, he felt hungry. He usually grunted, oh. and um, yeah, um, when I get, got home, he uh, waggled his tail, oh. and I think uh, he's so cute. I wanna, I wanted to hug him when I'm home, and I like the feeling he, he licked uh, my face, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. and uh, the. Oh. Because yeah, uh, he's like a, a dog, but I think he's cuter because he has no um, fur, no fur, mm -hmm. has no fur, so I could hug him easily, and I like the skin, uh, the skin because it is in uh, the color is light pink. Oh, and, okay. Yeah. And there is some white fur on his skin, but it doesn't matter. And uh, because I'm, when I was young, I'm chubby. I was chubby, so I think uh, he and I had a common point. Oh. We are, yeah, we are little pigs. <laughs> we were little pigs. Mm -hmm. Piglets. So we call a a a baby pig a piglet. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, a piglet is a baby pig. Piglet, yeah. Thank That's you. That's so cute. Yeah, so did when it grew up, was it big or did it stay small? Yeah, it's big. But when it's bigger, I don't like it because um, it is like a father, so it he's old. He's old, so no more cute. I just like a little, I just want to have a piglet, not a big pig. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that was a great description too. I like how you described the color, and you described his personality a little bit too. That was really nice. Mm -hmm. Great job. <laughs> okay. Let's ask Pedro next. Pedro, you said in the other class, you said that you have a lot of dogs. Maybe you can tell the class a little bit about the dogs that you have. Yes, I have eight dogs. Wow. <laughs> and five cats, too. Wow, and five cats. Yeah. Wow, okay. So um, maybe you could describe the appearance of some of your dogs. You can tell us what kind of dogs you have. The eight dogs and seven of them are the pincher. Doberman pincher? They are, yeah. They are very tiny and very noise and they are all very similar I have four males and four females and the females one of them is the mother of the other three and they all have the same size the same color it's brown hair and they don't don't seem uh, be to be the mother and the daughters. They seem to be just daughters. Okay, that's cool. 
cool. And um, so are they like the normal color of a Doberman Pinscher? Are they brown and black or are they different colors? I think it's brown and black. Okay, all right. Very cool. Yeah, that's a great description also. So you said that they're tiny and they're like black and brown colored. And they're they're all family, you said too. That's nice. So um, that was a nice description also. Very good job. I can't believe you have eight dogs. That's a lot. <laughs> but it helps that they're small. At least they're small dogs. <laughs> okay, let's ask they Natasha. Are very small. Oh, sorry. They are very small. Very small. They're tiny. And two of them are bigger. Oh, okay. Other case. It's a uh, cock Spain. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hot Weiler with other hays, I don't know. Mm -hmm. A Rottweiler? A, a mix. Okay, very cool. A Rottweiler and a Cocker Spaniel. Yeah. Um, I remember one of the other students was saying that she used to have a Cocker Spaniel too. Very nice. That's cool. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your description. Very nice job, Pedro. And let's ask Natasha next. Natasha, do you have any pets? Or did you used to have some in the past? Oh, Natasha, I think your microphone is muted. Sorry, can you unmute your microphone? I, I think she lost her connection. Okay, okay. Um, well, that's okay. Well, you guys all did a really nice job practicing um, a little bit with your descriptions of appearance. So we can go on and um, and practice our descriptions of appearance of people next. So um, maybe I can ask Anna Belen. Anna Belen, could you read this introduction to this question for us? Yes. What does she look like? This question is asking about the physical appearance of a person. Themes to include in your description. Hair color, eye color, height, weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. So, um, so we'll be looking at two different questions here. What does she look like? And also, what is she like? So we'll focus first on this one, which is talking about um, the physical appearance of a person. So I'd like you guys to practice a little bit with your descriptions by describing the appearance of these people. And try to remember we can um, talk about their hair color, eye color, height. We can say if they're tall or short. And also we can talk about their weight. We can say that they're um, maybe, um, you could say they're thin or overweight if they're not thin. <laughs> Okay, so let's try to describe some of these people here. And um, maybe we could ask Ana Karine. Ana Karine, could you maybe describe uh, this man? Uh, this man has a beard? 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 Yeah, very beard. good. Called a beard. Mm -hmm. And. Hey, your hair is black. Mm -hmm. um, your hair is long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Mm. Uh, he has, he has. A mustache? Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. Nice description. Very good. Thank you. So, so he has long hair, um, and I like how you described his hair color, and also you described his facial hair, his beard and his mustache. Nice job. Very, very good. Okay, let's ask Alejandro to go next. Alejandro, maybe we could ask you to describe these men. 
these four men for us. Could you describe the appearance of these four men? Okay. Uh, um, uh, these men, these men are very particular, very a little strange. Uh, they are in in a in an office, and uh, they are very very happy to to be uh, this giant girl. Um, the, the first one is um, they uh, have a um, uh, uh, glasses, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has glasses. Mm -hmm. He has glasses and yellow tie. Mm -hmm. um, the his hair is a little long. Arrives to her ears. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's very. They. Uh, he is very white. <laughs> Instead of the the other guy uh, is more um, uh, brown. No, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. uh, He's he's white. Mm -hmm. He's, wait. Or you could say light skinned, maybe instead of saying white, you could say he's light skinned, and the other um, is is more tan. More tan. Tan. Okay. Tan. Uh, the 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 other two uh, men men are more are older. Older. Hold on. There's Hold a little. On, there's echo. a little echo. Just a second. Just a second. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute everyone's microphones just for a second. Okay, go ahead, Alejandro. Go ahead. Okay, the um, the other two men are uh, more older than the two men uh, first, the, the mm -hmm. two first men, and uh, maybe are the bosses. And if the um, one is uh, more older, like an ancient. Mm -hmm. Like an, an older, older, person. older person, and the other and the last man is uh, very um, very clear, very clear man, and uh, he have a very ugly tie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice descriptions of those four men. Very good. I like how you were able to um, describe also like their skin color and um, their tie color. It was really good. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, let's let's ask V now to describe the woman. V, could you describe yeah. the woman in the middle? Yeah. Um, the woman in the middle is super tall. She's she is towering over those four men, mm -hmm. and uh, she has a brunette hair. Mm -hmm. But her hair is brunette, and um, she's wearing a short red dress. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, a pair of black shoes, a ha high heel, uh, the high heel ones, mm -hmm. and. Uh, her hair is is long to her chest, mm -hmm. and um, she's white. She also wearing a necklace. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. And this one on her arm, this is called a bracelet too. Ah uh, no, <laughs> yeah, bracelet, brace, bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, she's. She's smiling. She's have a bright smiley. She has a bright smiley. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent mm. description. Yeah, very yeah. good. I like how you use that phrasal verb too, towering over. And so yeah. that means that she is like super tall in comparison to the other people there. She's towering mm -hmm. over the other people. Yeah. Yeah, nice job. Excellent description, V. Very, very good. Okay, I think it's Pedro from Brazil's turn. So, Pedro, maybe you could describe um, this woman here for us in the corner. Okay. She's a very gorgeous woman. 
-hmm. with blonde hair and I think blue eyes. I don't know if it's blue or green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they look like they're blue. Hair with beautiful lips and a Caucasian uh, skin. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, nice description. Very good. So you, you got her hair color, her eye color, and um, her skin color. And you use that adjective gorgeous, which means like extremely beautiful. It's a very yeah. nice um, descriptive word, a good adjective. So um, you guys did really, really well describing these different people. I like how you were able to use different adjectives to describe their appearance. Um, so let's look at some other words that we can use to describe people's appearance. And um, Anna Belen, maybe I could ask you to read um, some of these description words on the left-hand side. Sorry? Can you read some of these? Oh, there's, uh, a little, there's a little echo. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you read um, some can description, you description words? Description words? Okay. Great description words. Blonde hair, blue eyes, mustache, ver, goatee. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Goatee. 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 Mm -hmm. Wears glasses, bald, balding, long, short hair, straight, curly, shapes, circular, round, Square, rectangular, oval, big, small. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, and um, maybe we can ask Anna Karine to read some of these opposites that we could use to describe the appearance of people. Okay. Tall, short, handsome, beautiful, attractive, lovely, ugly, and and unattractive. Unattractive. Pretty, cute, plain, young, old, heavy set, okay? Heavy, heavy set. A better opinion than set, dim, slim, slender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sometimes if someone is overweight, you could say that they are heavy set. Um, because it's in English, it's a little bit offensive to say that someone is fat especially if it's a woman. <laughs> they get very offended. Um, so you could say that they are heavy set or overweight. And then the opposites, of course, are thin, slim, or slender. So um, I think this is really interesting here about the shapes. Um, we can use these to describe the shape of someone's face. So some people have um, an oval face or a round face. Others have a long face. So we can look back at, at the picture. Maybe this woman we could describe if, as having like a long face. And this one could maybe have a rounder or oval face. And, um, and we can use those other adjectives to describe um, the other people here as maybe attractive or unattractive, um, pretty, cute, or plain, young, or old. Um, so we're going to practice using some of these really nice description words and opposites. Um, I would like everyone to try to describe their mothers for us. Try to describe what their mothers look like. Um, so maybe we can start with Alejandro. Alejandro, can you describe the appearance of your mother for us? Using some um, yes. adjectives? Uh-huh. Um, my mother is a more um uh, small than me mm -hmm. she's shorter she's uh, shorter than me um, um he has a uh, short hair mm -hmm. and he uh, use glasses um he, uh, she has uh, green eyes and her, her skin is white and is very pretty. 
Uh, and uh, he think is very young. Okay, very very nice, great description. Um, okay, thank you. And um, I wanted to to talk a little bit about um, the subject verb agreement here. Um, instead of saying like you said that she uses glasses. And so, um, when we have that verb use here, oh, I'm going to mute everyone's microphones just for a second. There's a little bit of feedback. There's a little bit of noise in the background. Okay. Um, so, um, we can use that verb use um, differently depending on the subject. So, um, if the subject is I, you would say I use, you use, and they or we use. Um, so I'll, I'll write that here in the chat box. But then if the subject is he, she, or it, the third person singular, then you would say um, uses instead of use. Um, so you can say she uses glasses. Yeah, so um, so yeah, we can make sure that our verbs match up with our subject there. But um, Alejandro, your mother sounds like a very beautiful woman. Uh, she has green eyes, and um, you said that her skin is is light. It's like a white color, and she has short hair, and um, and and she's kind of a short person. <laughs> she said you said she's shorter than you are. So that was a really nice description. Great job, Alejandro. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, perfect. Michelle. Okay, and let's ask V next. V, could you describe the appearance of your mother? Yes, my mother is heavy set. She's um, middle aged and uh, she has dark hair. Her hair is dark and uh, her skin is dark as well. Mm, uh, he has, he has dark eyes because we are Asian and uh, she wears glasses when reading paper, newspapers because of being far-sighted and um, she has a round face and um, her hair is a little pepper and salt because of her age and uh, she's shorter than me even though she's a little fat but she can walk very quickly and <laughs> maybe she's quicker than me <laughs> wow <laughs> she sounds like she's very healthy though that's good yes she has a lot because, of energy yes i think so because she has to do housework household stuff every day, so I think that's the reason she's so quick. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's an excellent description, V. Very, very good. And I like your um, your description of her hair. Uh, you said um, she has like pepper and salt hair, and sometimes that expression um, in English you would say salt and pepper hair, so it means yeah. like kind of like black and, and white mixed white. together, yeah. Oh, yeah, you. great descriptions. Very nice yeah. job. Thank Excellent you. work. Um, she sounds like a very nice lady, too. Very cool. <laughs> okay, so let's ask Pedro next. Pedro, it's your turn. Can you describe the appearance of your mother? So, my mother is smaller than me. Mm -hmm. she sh okay, um, we can say she shorter instead of smaller, too. Shorter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shorter than me. She has a straight hair. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a, can I say, thin nose? Can you say what? Thin nose. A pink nose? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> yeah. 
or you could use you could also say the size of her nose. Like maybe you could say she has a small nose or a cute nose. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the small nose. Is okay. Better. Okay. And she uses glasses. Mm-hmm. And She loves animals. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's nice. Very cool. She loves animals too. It's and and what, what color physical. is her hair? Oops, sorry. It's not physical, but I just say it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's nice. She also sounds like a really nice person. And what color is her hair? She has uh, brown hair mm -hmm. and brown eyes. Okay, wow, she sounds beautiful too. So, um, I have brown eyes too. Okay. Okay, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I, I think it is just this. Okay, very nice. So you got your brown eyes from your mother. That's very cool. Yeah. Nice job. Great description. Okay, let's ask Natasha next. Natasha, uh, can you describe the appearance of your mother? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, can you hear me? I'm sorry. Yeah, we can hear yeah. you. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm sorry for my connection. Oh, <clears throat> uh, my mother uh, is in uh, middle age nowadays, and uh, I think that uh, she is a very beautiful woman. Uh, she is uh, tall, but I think that uh, she is not very tall because uh, she is in average uh, long uh, of her uh, body. Uh, so uh, she uh, she used to black hair. Uh, they have is a, a, a gr uh, grain uh, with paper. Yes, paper hair. Yes, yeah, so uh, um, also uh, she has <coughs> she has gray um, eyes, um, and uh, her eyes is uh, uh, her eyes are very big. Uh, it's uh, it's beautiful, um, even. Uh, her um, uh, eyelashes long and black. Uh, her, um, <coughs> uh, her body uh, has uh, a nice uh, shape, and um, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, her, <coughs> her hair. Um, uh, she, she has uh, uh, wavy hair, uh, a little bit, uh, but she <coughs> don't like. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, don't like uh, cut uh, them. Uh, cut it, maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what else? I don't know. <laughs> uh, she she uh, she use uh, mm, uh, she she use uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I <laughs> I can uh, say else. No, it's okay. That was a really nice oh, description. Okay. Yeah, very good job. So you you were able to describe her height. You said that she was very tall or average, and also you described her hair color and the texture. You said it was wavy. So that's kind of like a little bit curly. That was a nice word, wavy. And I liked your description of her eyes too. You said that she has large eyes. They're big, and they're gray with long black eyelashes. So it's a very, um, very descriptive description. <laughs> very nice job, Natasha. Thank you. Uh, let's ask Anna Belen next. Anna, Belen, Anna can, you can you describe Mother Forest? Mother Forest? Okay. My mother was tall and thin, and she had, um, she has. Um, she has short hair, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and since he was blonde, in fact, uh, his hair was um, very beautiful because she has she had um, golden um, golden hair, and with uh, it was curly. Um, also, my mother had small eyes, small brown eyes, mm -hmm. and she had a um, round face. Um, and finally, I have to say that she was um, very elegant. Aww. <laughs> Great description. Yeah, there you go. Good. Good. I like the, I like the, the, the word. Sorry, there's a lot. Sorry, there's a lot. Um, I like um, the way like to describe the color that it was, that like, it was like, very, very nice description. Very, very nice description. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to mute your microphone just for Thank a second you. because mute your um, microphone just for a second. Just because of the echo. I'm sorry. Sorry, Anna. Um, and maybe if you use headphones, um, sometimes that helps with the echo. Um, but yeah, great description. Very, very nice. And um, Ana Karine, did we ask you? Can you describe your mother for us, too? Yeah. Um, my mother has a dark hair. Mm -hmm. uh, your hair is short. And you wavy hair. Okay, wavy, yeah. Your eyes are black. Mm -hmm. Your shape is a little round. <laughs> she uses glass. And she has a small nose. Mm -hmm. And she has a beautiful smile. Aww. <laughs> That's a really nice description. I like how you said she has a beautiful smile. Yeah, very nice. She sounds like a beautiful person. Okay, so I think everyone got a chance to describe their mothers. But all of you did a really, really nice job. So I think we have a good understanding of um, what it's uh, like, what it means, what does she look like. We know that this is just describing the appearance. And um, you all did really well using these different descriptive words. So let's move on to the second question here. What is she like? And um, maybe we can ask Alejandro to read the description of this question. Sure. <clears throat> this question is asking about the personality of a person. We are no longer focusing on physical appearance, but on the character of the person. What personality traits do you already know? Yeah, nice job. Good, good work. So we're going to focus now on um, describing the personality. So when someone asks you, what is she like? Um, we would answer using some of these different adjectives here. And so um, I'd like you guys to use some of these different adjectives to describe your best friend. And um, we would we won't be describing their appearance, but we'll be describing some of the aspects of their personality, some of their qualities. And um, maybe we can start with V this time. V, could you describe your best friend for us? Could you tell us what qualities she has? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, my friend is really funny for those people she used to, she usually gets used to know, used to know, to knowing her, but for the strangers, she's a little shy, and, okay. uh, but when we are friends, she's so friendly and supportive, and, um, she's generous as well, because when I'm broke, I can borrow her money, and she doesn't complain anything about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, but, when she gets angry, she's a little she she gets a little rude, I think because she's hot tempered, so she cannot control her temper that time. But it's understandable because it just sometimes not 
frequently, so I, I think I can accept that. And uh, uh, at work, she is intelligent, even though I think I'm more intelligent than her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. And uh, um, in some ways, she, she is a cute, cute friend, and uh, I think I'm so lucky because I have a best friend like her. Okay, that was a really great description. She does sound like a really nice friend. Yes, for me, I think. Okay, yeah, perfect. A, a wonderful description of her personality, too. Mm -hmm. You can kind of imagine what she's like just from your description. Nice job. Mm -hmm. All right, let's ask Pedro next. Pedro, can you describe your best friend? What is he or she like? And his very confident. I can tell more things that I do in my life. He can hear hear me and I, I hear him too. And he's very honest and friendly. We spend a lot of time together and he is completely not shy. And he's very smart and intelligent. We sometimes study together and do things together. And he's very polite. All right, those are all excellent uh, adjectives. Great job describing him. Very good. And I heard that you said um, that he hears me and I hear him. And um, sometimes when you're actively, like when someone is talking to you and you're actively paying attention to what they're saying, you would use the, that verb listen. So you could say, yeah, so you could say he listens to me and I take time to listen to him too. Yeah, so that's okay. kind of the difference between like hear and listen. Like when you're really paying attention, that means that you're like listening to something. Yeah, but yeah, great Again. description of your friend. Thank you. Yeah, very nice job. Okay, let's ask Natasha next. Natasha, can you describe your best friend for us? Can you describe her personality? Oh, sorry, Natasha, are you there? I'm not sure if you're having connection problems. Okay, well maybe we can skip Natasha for now. Maybe she'll be able to participate in a couple of minutes. Uh, maybe we can ask Anna Belen to go next. Anna Belen, can you describe your best friend? Anna Belen, can you describe your best friend's personality? For okay. Us? She's a very sweet person and very generous too. And he, uh, her problem is that he isn't confident at all. <laughs> um, but she is friendly, um, and a very quiet person too. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, she sounds yeah, like a really, nice, like person. A really nice person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And when someone and when is someone not confident, 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 relax, relax, confident, confident. Okay. I wrote it here wrote in the chat box here for you. Chat box for you. Okay, but yeah, excellent description also of her personality. Very, very nice. Great job. And sorry, I know that there's a little bit of an echo. Um, I think it's just from maybe from the microphone from your headphones. Sorry about that. But um, we really, really appreciate your participation, Anna. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's ask Anna Karine next. Anna Karine, can you describe the personality of your best friend also? Okay, yeah. Uh, my best friend is a person friendly. Uh -huh. He is confident, intelligent, he is funny, uh, sometimes he is boring, <laughs> but he is very nice, he is generous, um, 
For me, he is the best friend in the world. <laughs> Oh, that's a really nice description, too. Very good. Yeah, and it's good that you're honest, too. You said sometimes he's boring, but he's really nice. <laughs> yeah, so it was a really good description, too. And I like how you were able to use those different adjectives, like um, confident, intelligent, funny, generous. Very, very nice job. Um, so everyone's doing so well so far with the descriptions of the personality. I think it's Alejandro's turn. Alejandro, can you describe the personality of your best friend for us? What is he like? Okay. Um, my my best friend is actually my girlfriend. Oh, so okay. uh, I I prefer to describe another one, a good friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, he is uh, he is very it's a old co-worker for for me uh, ex ex co-worker mm -hmm. um, he is very confident uh, and very intel intelligent he always are searching new and learning new things um, he I I I, I got a lot of fun with him and he's also very generous uh, often he offer me for lunch or for dinner and uh, he, absolutely he is very friendly and um, and a, a, a little rude sometimes where is uh, he is uh, hungry? Mm -hmm. Then th that's it all. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was also a really nice description, and I like how you were able to give examples of how he's generous, how he invited you to to eat, and maybe paid for you sometimes when you go out. And also, um, under which circumstances, maybe he could be rude. You said it's it's only when he's angry. Like he's probably not usually a rude person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but very nice description. Also, great, Thank great job. Yeah. Okay, and um, let's see if Natasha. Natasha, can you hear us? Oh, okay, I think she's still having connection problems. Yeah. That's a shame. Okay. Well, um, hopefully in the next class she'll be able to uh, practice some more of her descriptions for us. So um, we have just a couple of minutes left. I thought maybe we could um, we could try to think of some famous people that would have these qualities. So um, Anna Belen, maybe I can ask you, can you think of um, a famous person that you could describe as confident? Sorry, can you repeat me, please? Sure, sure. Can you think of a... Sorry. Can you think of a famous person that you could describe as confident? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like a celebrity. Maybe a celebrity. Um, yes, um, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Putin, <laughs> yeah, he's very confident in himself. <laughs> very nice, great example. Okay, let's ask Ana Karine. Ana Karine, could you tell us um, who is someone that you would think of as intelligent, a famous intelligent person? I, th I think is Barack Obama. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, he could be very intelligent. Yeah, very, very intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great job. And uh, Alejandro, tell us someone that you would think is really funny or silly, a famous person like that. Mm, very funny, very funny. Um, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> maybe uh, Obama when he's in a party or... Oh, in the White House, mm -hmm. sometimes, with yeah. her wife, uh -huh. dancing, on etc. No? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Or do you, are there any famous comedians in Spain or actors who are really funny? Mm. Antonio Banderas sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he can be funny sometimes. It's a really good example. Perfect. Great job. Yeah, I know in the United States sometimes they have actors like Adam Sandler or Jim Carrey who always do comedies. Yeah, very okay. good. Okay, and V, tell us who could be someone that we could describe as generous that's a famous person. Generous? Um, because they are celebrities, so I'm not sure in the real life if they are generous, actually or not. But uh, I'm just think about the person I think uh, who is hilarious. Is that okay? Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. And I'm a huge fan of Blake, Blake Shelton. Um, do you know him? He is a famous, famous singer in the U.S. Country okay. singer. Yeah, Blake Shelton. And because I like, I'm into the voice. So I really like him because he's a coach of that um, game show and uh, he's so talented as well because uh, he, he gets the trophies nine, nine, no, five or six times, five or six times out of um, eight seasons. Okay. So yeah, I'm really interested in him and I uh, actually, I. Uh, I admire his hilarious study, the noun of hilarious, is that right? Well, you hilarious? can say I admire the way that he is, um, he's, he's like a really comical or a really funny person, or you yeah. can say he's really hilarious. I admire the way he is, he is um, a funny person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and that's it. <laughs> okay, yeah, great job. Well, maybe everyone could make it their goal. Everyone did an amazing job in today's class, but you guys can try to make it your goal to um, practice using some of these different descriptive words when you're describing um, other people, um, not just their appearance, but also their personality. And so um, it can really help you to expand your vocabulary in English. But everyone did a really great job. I really appreciate everyone's um, participation in the class. And hopefully I'll get to see you all soon again in another class, too. Yeah, Thank you. thanks Thank for coming you. again today. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, Michelle. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Bye. It was a pleasure.